Hey everybody, this is going to be uh, part three. I'm going to add a little bit to the uh, other two that I did. Clarify some things and maybe add a little bit to it. Right here is the other end of the home. That's uh, a little bit dark, but that's, uh, that's gray poly coming up out of the floor. And then that's uh, poly depex fittings with the uh, uh, dark copper crimp ring on the pecs and the lighter uh, crimp ring on the poly. That's going up to the shower. And then uh, it comes up through the wall underneath the sink and up to right here this is one of the lines coming up that's a quarter turn ball valve it's on the ones they happen to have in stock that day I didn't like the big handle ones but sometimes I have to go with what, what they got then a short piece and then one of them swivel connectors like I was showing in another video hooking up to the hot water side of the faucet and come over here right beside it there's that pex coming up out of the floor another quarter turn ball valve the kind I like that's but that's one that's got pecs on each end like I was talking about going up another swivel elbow for the cold water side and then there's another swivel right there going up and a brass connected to the shower handle. And get back from it a little bit. Get a better view of it. And doing these, uh, uh, if it's somebody just wanting it done, because they've heard about the poly pipe and just wanting it done, no leaks or nothing, they just want to go ahead and change it out. You can uh, get up under the homes and uh, run it up through the belly and uh, make your connections, turn it up through the floor and then make your connections there. It will save you a few, uh, it'll save you a few connections, but they're so easy to make. And uh, as long as I've kept, as long as you keep the pipe out of the sunlight and out of the UV, any UV rays or sunlight, and you make sure I didn't. Uh, I didn't add this in the other one. I'll show what I'm talking about here in a little bit. You check each one of these crimps. You check it with what they call a go, no-go gauge. And as long as it checks good with that gauge, it's out of the sunlight and it's out of any UV rays. And like on these and the walls and in the belly and stuff where it's not in exposed to any real cold temperature or anything like that, I've never had any problems, never had a leak, never had any break, bust, go back on or anything. So... You know, and they're so easy to do, a few extra connections really don't bother me any. And most often, like in this case, they had active leaks. So what I try to do then is I get in to the places where they got active leaks. I try to get under their sinks and under their toilets, tubs, showers, and stuff from up above. And uh, go ahead and, and go poly to PEX and uh, get that running and, and stop those leaks and do it quickly that way they can keep water running they're not without water very long and then I can go back and go underneath and finish the runs up under there and just run it straight up to where the poly to pex connection was and then I cut it off and then and then put a pex to pex fitting in there and then they're they're good to go and this one here was leaking in about four places so it was cut out in a quick kind of hurry I will come back when I'm done make that into a uh, straight squared opening and it will have a hinge door on it and uh, sometimes uh, if they want to I can put a mirror on it whatever they want and then in, in here in this little bath here I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to move stuff I got stuff kind of covered up the floor but I did uh, I did have to make a poly to pex one uh, poly effects fitting right there and underneath that floor and run it up to a shut off and uh, this will be the next toilet I have to get in here and 
I gotta replace some of this flooring and stuff, and uh, this will be where I'm gonna try to uh, shoot a video using the inside the pipe uh, cutter reamer. Uh, Fritz requested I try to make one and show that, so that's what I'm gonna try to do when I get to this. All right, let me uh, get off here, and uh, I'll move to another place in the kitchen and uh, show you some more. Be back in a minute. Okay, I want to show this real quick. Uh, this is what I was talking about. How I try to get each one in the sinks and stuff like on this one right here that's the poly pipe the gray poly pipe coming up out of the floor I will cut that just a few inches above the above the floor and then I'll put a PEX to poly fitting in there and uh, or poly to PEX fitting and uh, I'll connect that to a short piece of PEX and then I will connect that uh, piece of PEX to a uh, quarter turn ball valve. The PEX on one end and then that 3 8 compression on the other. And like I said, I toss the nut and the ferrule. And then I'll take a stainless steel braided flexible faucet uh, connector. And uh, I will uh, thread on uh, the 3 8 end to the to the shut off and then run the other side up and uh, I don't know if I can, how well you can see this but you know it's just a regular, regular cut off but you know it'll go to the faucet and uh, like I said the pipe themselves haven't gave that much problem but they have been known to after 15-20 years to start getting clogged up inside and, and, and kinking and stuff, breaking down, especially if you got hard water. But the fittings is what's caused the majority of the problems because all of the, all the shutoffs, elbows, couplings, whatever, they're all plastic and they just corrode and crack and bust. Okay, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, here's uh, under the kitchen sink. And uh, like I said, you can see where the gray poly is coming up out of the floor. There's the first poly to pex fitting. There's the second on the other line. And then uh, they go on up and uh, there's one uh, shut off. And there's the, uh, there's the other shut off. And then there's the uh, braided, or I got the lines hooked up on this one. Oh, wait. There's the braided uh, stainless steel braided connectors. Come right up and uh, connect into the uh, faucet. And then on this one right here, I've got a T right there. And that line comes across. There's a shut off. And it goes across. And do the opening and that will be for the dishwasher and when you get back from it I mean it it looks a lot neater it just don't seem to take up as much space it's very neat solves a lot of problems. Alright, I'll be back with some more in a little bit. Bye. Okay, here's a, here's what I was showing earlier to you. This is a quarter turn ball valve. Pex on that end right there. That would go to uh, your pipe. And then there's the 3 8 threaded stainless steel braid connector. Goes up and uh, it's got a Swivel on connector for the faucet. Got a little rubber washer down inside there, so you tighten it down good and snug tight, and uh, it's, it's not leaking, it's not going nowhere. And uh, let me set this up and uh, I'll show you some more about the text. 
All right, hey y'all, I'm back with some more. Just a quick view here of uh, all the piping and water lines that was removed just from that bathroom area and going over to the shower. And then uh, some from the other bathroom. You can see it's quite a bit. And you get a good close up here of the and you can see these pipes. this is shut off here, but you can you can see it's plastic. There's their elbows, one of their elbows. It's also plastic. get one of these up and I was going to try to show you something about the pipe. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so here's one of their tees. You can see it's plastic too. And it's kind of like a crimp ring type thing, crimp band or whatever that they used on these. And uh, this pipe here actually was made by Vanguard, which is who actually make makes the uh, pecs that I buy and then put them back in there? But when this pipe when this pipe had come out, when these water lines come out, it was thought to be the slated, greatest thing since uh, sliced bread. But it just soon showed different, and people all over the country started having them bust and flood their homes, and it ended up in a big, uh, big uh, national lawsuit, and uh, eventually got outlawed and and. Uh, I quit making it and quit putting it in there and uh, I do a lot of work on these replacing replacing the uh, polybutylene water lines and the plastic fittings but uh, if you look on your pipe just like uh, any other I mean a lot of times you'll actually say polybutylene on there and uh, other times it, it uh, it won't, but it'll have little things that might uh, might tip you off to it. Uh, I'm trying to find uh, on these. On this one right here, it just it had that that number in PB twenty one ten, and uh, that the letters PB along with the gray colored of the piping and the plastic type that it is and then the fittings and the, the way they were cracking and breaking is what let me know that uh, that, that was what kind it was. Alright, let me uh, get back in here and I'll uh, show you a few more things real quick and uh, then we'll uh, end this one. I'll ch check the time on it. I may have to end it and make it into two videos. Be back with you in a little bit. Bye.